Hi guys, we will continue with our repetition control structure but just to let you know that this is the last structure that I will discuss. Okay, so we will discuss about the for structure or the for loop or the for statement. So for the for loop, this is actually instructs a program to perform a block of code a specified number of times. This is actually similar to the do while and also to the while loop but it has a different approach in putting the syntax or it has a different syntax in um, in putting your codes okay so for um, for for loop you will see here that you need to initialize first you need uh, you need to initialize your counter then you can put here your condition then you can put here your increment or it really depends on your problem if you need um, if you need to increment it or if you need to decrement it so if it um, if we will decrement it of course it should be minus minus or the dash dash right in incrementing it has um, double um, double plus sign so the plus plus right so then you can see here that the statement still it's inside the curly braces okay I will show you an example which is in slide or in page number 10 if you can see it here the X uh, we initialize value X uh, sorry we initialize variable X and variable Y the variable Y here um, it asks for an input from the user okay so X here has a value of 1 this is actually our initialization then x which is 1 it's less than or equal to the value inputted by the user which is y so for example if the user inputted 5 of course it's true right so it will continue and proceed with the um, with the statement inside the curly brace before it will increment again um, in reading the for loop it will read first, um, it will initialize first, sorry, the value of the x, which is um, 1. Then 1 here, it's less than or equal to the y, which is 5, for example, which is our condition. If it's true, it will go inside our curly brace. After it went to our curly brace, it will now increment the value of the x. Okay? let's try solving that one or let's try showing that one in our visual studio code Hello. one moment i'll save this one for loop a uh, for loop example one dot html then script then of course I need to initialize the value i then let input equals prompt or window that prompt it's really up to you enter a value there then for um, i equals one semicolon don't forget the semicolon it's less than or equal sorry I should be less than or equal to the input semicolon again then I plus plus there I will now put here document that right then I will show them mm. I will now put here uh, I will display the value of X I will display the value of X value of X sorry value of i value is i will call the variable i then don't forget to put the i'm sorry i need to put the br there you go okay let's try to run the code one moment mm -hmm. yeah enter a value for example i inputted five so basically the output it started from of course from the initialized number which is one 
going to the um, to the number inputted by the user which is 5 right it's because as well of the equal sign here if you want you can actually remove the equal sign so that it will only display until 4 right if I will refresh the code or I will refresh the output I will input 5 still oh what happened oh okay sorry it's because of this part oh okay so if i'll refresh that oh, one moment i need to save this first one moment oh, five still there you go i did not save it okay so one up to four there it is also possible that you can actually start with zero but again it's really up to you i will save it then run the code again there you go okay so this time i will try to create a program that displays a text five times or it will display my name five times so i will copy this one i will save it for loop example two dot html but for this one uh, all i need to do uh -huh. yeah remove that one so that i will start coding it okay first things first so i need to let the user input something then enter a text uh, enter your name there So basically, no need for us to parse int or to parse uh, to have this one par uh, parse because basically um, the um, the compiler itself consider this inputted number um, it inputted value of the user as a string. Okay. So let's proceed with the for loop. Then I'll put the let here let i equals one okay then i less than or equal to the input um semicolon again then i plus plus okay then i will put something here um, it should be documented right then i will only call the input uh, one moment and i need to um put the br there if i will run this one one moment if i will run this oh god sorry i need to call that one here so i will input my name or enter my name so for example i'm um i'm ralph oh why it did not work ralph oh what happened one moment which is the input right oh okay one moment um enter your name sorry i did not put the loop so basically here uh input um let um how many times oh i forgot it's my fault um how many times oh no no need for us to do that um, basically all we need to do is enter um, enter a value okay. enter a value here then all we need to do is to display or to put our text here which is Ralph or my name which is Ralph I will run the code again I'll input 5 so basically it should have 5 Ralphs but I forgot to put the BR 
there you go. I will refresh the output, then I'll input five. There you go. Five routes. Okay? <laughs> I believe that this is quite easy for you since um, um, since we are only repeating the um, the text, right? It depends on the inputted value or inputted number um, of the user. Am I right? Okay. How about if we will try to display the sum of a number, just like what we did earlier, right? So first things first. Of course, I need to copy this so that I will not. Uh, let's see for loop example uh, this is number three okay enter a value of course I will enter uh, let next um, of course I need to I forgot to initialize as well the sum to zero just like what we did earlier then I put here four then let i equals 1 then i it should be less than or equal to the inputted value of the user then i plus plus so inside here uh, of course i need to um, um i need to display that right I need to display the i so i sorry i is plus then the call the value sorry call the variable call the value of the variable i plus br br aside from that of course i need to use the sum right now plus equal to the value of i right again this is actually similar to sum equals sum plus i sorry i there there you go and if it will exit the loop of course it will display the result so the document that right the sum of i is called the value of sum there you go i'll try to run that code one moment and i will put it here sorry i will enter the value of five so one two three four five the sum is still 15. okay that's quite easy right because we're done uh, we're, uh, we're able to use different types of um, structure in the repetition control structure um, from while do while up to for loop in um, in getting the sum of the value or creating the sum uh, um, getting the sum of the i or of the x just like what we did earlier okay let's have our last example um, just like what we did in our previous um, example on the asterisk pattern so in this part um, I need to say this first sorry for loop example 4 dot HTML I will remove this okay. here so in this part of course I need to let the user input something so window or a window that prompt uh, enter a value next um, of course I need to create the row and initialize the row and initialize the asterisk here I will create um, two or nested if statements okay so basically I'll create um, for loop inside the for loop just like what we did in the while also in the do while okay here we will now put the I'm sorry 
we will now put the row initialize the row equals to 1 then row it's less than or equal to the inputted value of the user then row plus plus then um, in this side we need to put the document that right then of course in this part we will only um, um, use the line break okay in the nested loop or in the nested for loop um, inside here it should be the asterisk part where the purpose of this is to um, print the or to display the asterisk right so one semicolon then asterisk it's actually dependent to the number of row number of rows like that then asterisk plus plus so inside our for loop it should be documented right we will now put the asterisk that if ever that i will run this code one moment mm -hmm. i will enter on three it has um, three rows with three columns uh, what if I enter 20 there you go right how amazing is that okay um, just a takeaway regarding the repetition control structure that I discuss um, that is why um, actually the reason why I discuss the repetition control structure because aside from polishing or aside from making your codes not that lengthy um, the repetition control structure will also help you in this uh, in the part where we will try to log in right for example um, you want to log in to Facebook then for how many times you can't log in because you forgot your password so um, you attempted to log in then for your uh, for the fifth time your account was locked right so actually we will use repetition control structure or we will use looping on that aspect okay so again we are learning this one so that in our next succeeding or in our succeeding topics um, you will not have any problems okay Thank you.